Shake hands, come out the bell, and good luck to both of you. Keith Hughes gives the final instructions. This guy, Kosa, looks like a guy that uh, fought in tough band contests. He's been stopped five times in his last eight fights, twice in the third round, three times in the first round, but he also KO'd three opponents inside of two rounds and two in the first round a knockout win. So he's a guy that can be dangerous for Mark DeMori, who's coming off a credible win, an eight-round unanimous decision over a pretty good journeyman named Ed Mahone in Auckland, New Zealand uh, in April. Uh, this is an important fight for him because it's part of his development. So he's got to guard against Kuza trying to land a big wild shot in the early going and just try to work down this uh, big guy who's a late replacement for um, uh, the fighter that was supposed to fight him was uh, Horace Grant and he trained for Grant for eight weeks so uh, Demore is in pretty good shape I don't like the way Mark holds that left hand down there you don't want to allow this guy to come in and bang you with a big right hand although his positioning is fine right now uh, Demore has got to get his jab going and establish himself and he does that he goes down to the belly and back upstairs hook uh, whistles past the nose of big cruiser Robert Cruz as you see in uh, no real condition at all but he's an opponent fighter and he's, he's the type of guy that, you know, you got to be careful of because he's dangerous at times. He's dangerous at a lower level as he moved up in class and fought Cedric Boswell last time out and got stopped. And this would be another a kid. Demori is a kid that could be the future or, you know, considered in the future the heavyweights. We'll see how he develops. But he's made the right move from Perth, Australia. That's over in Danny Green territory in Western Australia. His dad and his brother are here working in his corner with him. Nice jab. And that's all he has to do. He doesn't need to press too much here in the early going. And again, there's a certain amount of cautiousness because this guy's a serious, uh, or hopes to be a serious contender in the heavyweight division. So he doesn't need to press himself. It goes a little bit tired and then load up some right hand shots. A work off that jab. And he's doing exactly the way if I were training. Uh, Mark DeMori, I've been telling him to do exactly what he's doing right now. I need to force a knockout. Let's cruise along here now until he gets a chance to catch this guy. And, and don't get tagged yourself. And again, if I were training him, I'd, I'd want him to get that left hand up. I don't like it when a fighter hangs his left hand like that. This guy trains a lot with heavy weights, but he, he's got a lot more fluidity of movement in the past year or so. Not lifting his heavy weights. But doing more repetitions, he told me. Strong, hard punching kid, and, and he's in good condition. He's going up to the King Training Camp in Orwell, Ohio, to develop more. You might see him on that fight that's coming up from uh, China in another month or so. The Don King will want to keep him busy. As you never know the way the heavyweight. Oh, big body shot! And Kuza tumbles down. Got him right in the lower rib, and he really cracked him. It's up to seven. And eight, he's not going to get up. Nine. He just barely makes it. No, he doesn't make it. Referee Keith Hughes says, no, that's it. So it'll be scored as a first-round knockout. He counted him out. He didn't get up in time to beat the bell.